Welcome back. So we're talking about the SVD and how you can decompose large high dimensional data sets uh, represented in a matrix X into a few uh, dominant columns and rows stored in the matrices U and V. So this gives us a principled approach to dimensionality reduction of high dimensional data sets. And it's one of the first tools in our arsenal of dimensionality reduction, uh, statistical analysis of high dimensional data sets and machine learning. Okay, so what I'm gonna talk about now is one of my favorite topics in dimensionality reduction and the SVD, and that's the eigenfaces example. So I'm gonna walk you through in MATLAB uh, how to take a matrix where the columns are uh, examples of human faces, pictures of human faces reshaped into tall skinny vectors, and I'm gonna show you how you can use the SVD to get this eigenfaces representation that's really useful for classification uh, and analysis, okay? So uh, we're going to use the Yale B data set. This is a really, really cool data set where I, if you look here on the right panel, there was this geodesic dome with different lights and a camera facing uh, an individual. And within a short period of time, about two seconds, all of these camera, uh, the, these lights would flash at different angles and a bunch of pictures would be taken of the person front on. And so you can see that for this individual, there's all of these different photos. I think it's... Um, 64 photos from different lighting conditions. So one half of their face is shadowed, the other half of their face is shadowed above and below, left and right, and so on and so forth. And in addition, there are a large number of individuals um, in the 30s or 40s of individuals that have each had their face uh, picture taken at all of these different lighting conditions, okay? So it's a really big data set, uh, the Yale B data set, and we're gonna use this to demonstrate how the SVD can give interpretable uh, eigenfaces to represent these, these facial images. Now, uh, you can also do this on what's known as the eigenpets. So if you have a bunch of images of cats and dogs, you can similarly use the SVD to find your eigenpets, uh, but I'm really gonna focus on, on the uh, eigen faces in the Yale database today, okay? Uh, just again to point out, this is um, all, all of the code and data is on our website, databookuw.com. Uh, this is following chapter one, section six of, of the book, Data Driven Science and Engineering. Um, okay, good. So the first thing we're gonna do in MATLAB is load all of the data. So I'm gonna break this one up into a few different videos because it'll, it'll be too long if I, if I have them all separately. So in this video, all we're gonna do is we're going to load all of the images in that Yale database. And then in the next video, we're gonna compute the SVD and analyze the eigenfaces, look at how they can be used for reconstruction and so on and so forth, okay? So here uh, at databookuw.com, there is a data.zip file that has all of the data for all of the examples in the book. And here, we're just gonna load this matrix allfaces.mat, okay? This is a big, big matrix where all of the individual's faces have been rearranged as tall, skinny column vectors. Uh, in this massive data matrix. So I'm gonna load it, I'm gonna plot it, and I'm gonna walk you through how the data is structured. Okay, uh, maybe the first thing I'll do is I'll just load the data. Okay, good. Now I have this matrix called faces, and if I just do size of faces, you're gonna see that this is a very, very large matrix. So there are 2,410 individual pictures of human faces. And each of those, those, those pictures has been reshaped into a very tall 32,000 by one column vector, okay? So the dimension of an actual picture, I think is 168 pixels by 192 pixels. And if you multiply that out, you get this 32,256 by one column vector, okay? So every person has a bunch of images at different lighting conditions. And then I have a bunch of individual people uh, and that's how this is arranged. So the first column is the first picture of person one. The second column is the second person, the second picture of person one, the third picture of person one and so forth. So the first block is just person one. Then there's a block for person two, a block for person three and so on and so forth. Uh, and it looks like there are 38 persons. So there are 38 people uh, in, this, um, in this matrix of faces. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, create this big array of all persons. I just wanna plot all of the different people that we're gonna use for, for this model. And I'm only gonna train 
my SVD, I'm only gonna learn the eigenfaces using the first 36 people's faces. And we're gonna see if those eigenfaces, which are gonna be stored in the columns of you, can be used to represent another person's face that was not in the training data set, person 37. So I'm only gonna show you the first 36 people, we're only gonna use them to train the model, and then we're gonna see if that model still works for person 37, okay? So all that this code does uh, for i equals one to six, for j equals one to six, it basically goes through this big matrix and it grabs uh, the first face for each of those people. The first face is the one that has front on lighting conditions. Okay, and this is what it looks like. So these are all of the people. Uh, 36 individuals. You can see there's all, all different types of people, uh, people's faces, okay? And then similarly, what I'm gonna show in this plot is I'm gonna go through all of the pictures for one person, and I'm gonna pull all of those pictures uh, and put that in an eight by eight array because there's 64 different uh, lighting conditions for every person. So again, I'm gonna create this big um, n by uh, eight by eight array of pictures and I'm just gonna load all of the pictures for one of the persons, okay? Good. So for every single one of those images that I showed you of these people here, for every single one of these people, I have all of these, uh, these images in all of these different lighting conditions. So this is really a massive, massive data set. And what we're hopefully gonna learn from this using the singular value decomposition is how to go from this 32,000 dimensional pixel representation to a much lower dimensional representation in terms of these eigenfaces, okay? So that's all coming up. That'll be the next video. Thank you.